What is going on guys? My name is Ross or Mr. Boss for the win. Welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto Online live stream. Today we have got some brand new DLC content here in Grand Theft Auto Online for us to enjoy. The Ocelot Ardent is now available in Grand Theft Auto Online and that's right we're going to be checking it out today. It's going to be a lot of fun. Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to the stream. Hopefully you guys are doing well. Hopefully you're having a great day. It is very early in the morning but I am excited for this brand new vehicle and hopefully you guys are as well so once again welcome everyone to the stream my name is Ross or Mr. Boss for the win this is the brand new Ocelot Ardent we've got a bunch of other new content bonuses sales two times money in RP things to check out and so much more so it really is gonna be cool yep we don't need that please don't do that that's loud thank you um, so anyways, the Ocelot Ardent is available. It is the newest car in Grand Theft Auto Online to come out. And we're going to be checking it out today. We're going to be customizing it. Thank you. Anyways, we're going to be customizing it. We're going to be checking it out. It should be a lot of fun. If you guys are enjoying our stream, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys are new to the YouTube channel as well. Turn on the post notifications. If you want to get involved in streams like this, we are on the PC today if you want to come hang out with us. Also, if you want to get involved in the stream as well, click the link in the description. That's to my Streamlabs page. Uh, if you want to be featured on the stream, you can subscribe, you can sponsor, you can use the Super Chat, or you can donate. One of those three options, first link in the description. Let's do some shoutouts for some likes though. Debbie, thank you for liking. Sammy, thank you for liking. Aaron, thank you for liking. Team Chaos. Thanks for dropping a like. Uh, Samson, thanks for liking. Uh, TJ, thank you for liking too. Oscar, thank you for liking. Osiris, thanks for dropping a like. Samson, thank you for liking. You guys are absolutely killing it right now. Crazy Gamer, thank you for liking. John Killer, thanks for liking. Leon, thanks for liking. Lewis Baton, thanks for liking. Guys, our first goal today is going to be 1,000 likes. So drop a like on the stream if you're excited. This is the brand new... Ocelot Ardent. Whoa. So we got four of them in here. We're on the PC today, and we're in the crew session. So uh, we're going we're gonna to create some pretty cool stuff. Uh, Brandy, thank you for liking. Aiden, thanks for liking. 21 Savage, thanks for dropping a like. King Edwards, thanks for liking. So let's go ahead and take a look at this thing on the website, on the Warstock Cash and Carry, because that's where it's available. So you can see here, it is the second of the drip feed vehicles to be released on the website. And it is available for $1,150,000. Now, I will be doing a shark card giveaway later today. So if you're not following me on Twitter, I highly recommend that you do so. Okay? So if you're not following me on Twitter, go down there because I will be doing a shark card giveaway a little bit later today for the Ocelot Ardent. So, this is the price. It is available for $1,150,000. You can see it seats two people as a part of gun running ardent um, this is it right here so this is the description it's a rare car that allows you to be perfectly composed effortless effortlessly suave and extraordinarily violent all at the same time um, and yet somehow the ardent does all that and more behind the wheel of this masterpiece there's nothing you can't do lose your pursuers pop the dual machine guns gun down the survivors drop a pithy remark Open the champagne, have a quickie, drive into the sea. All right, we're going to test that out. Drive into the sea, realize you've made a terrible mistake, and swiftly drown. Okay, well, at least on the site, they say if you drive into the sea, you'll realize you've made a terrible mistake, and you'll swiftly drown. So there you go. Guys, as you'll probably notice, if you subscribe, sponsor, donate, or use the super chat, you will appear on screen. Like Oliver Phillips just subscribed. He appeared on screen. All right. Um, and we don't get any vehicle bar stats. We get the colors red pink yellow orange green blue black white Okay, so let's go ahead and order this thing and let's just do blue Why not? All right, so let's just do blue We're just gonna put that right there and I think we are out of space. Oh my gosh. What do I want to replace? All right, I never I don't want to put this in a different garage Actually, could I? Eclipse Towers? I could just put it in this one. All right, we'll put it in this one. Uh, let's replace the intruder, the hot knife. 
We'll put it in this one. I don't even, I, whatever. We're going to start a new garage. Beautiful. All right, so your Ardent will be delivered shortly to your garage. That's pretty cool. Once again, in case you guys are just joining us, a brand new DLC vehicle was released in online, the Ocelot Ardent. It's available on the Warstock Cash and Carry site, as you guys can see here. $1,150,000. I was out of money. I had to buy some shark cards. Now I'm, I'm ready to go. Um, as you guys remember in our last live stream, I was down to like one or two million dollars and I, I literally freaking bought the boat load of the shark cards, had to get geared up for this content, the new content. So that's the Ocelot Ardent. Um, let's go ahead. You guys can see here. Well, Jesus Christ. Uh, what's this NPC doing? These are some of the Ardents that these guys have. Oh, look at that. It's got a spare tire in the trunk that's really cool so let's take a look at some of their creations so far so far i'm pretty sure these are just the uh i'm pretty sure those are just like the uh what's it called um stock design yeah hobro said it's just the stock design but still i think looks pretty cool i love that spare tire in the front we're gonna have to totally check that out Ooh. that looks pretty cool robbie's got a pretty cool one Robbie's got a good, like, tuner one going on. I like that. I love those pop-up lights. That's pretty cool. All right. You lost your door, Robbie. <laughs> what happened? Opens his door, loses his... Opens the door, loses it instantly. All right. Let's go to the garage. Um, and let's go ahead and get to customizing ours. So ours is... Oh, God. Did I put it in the wrong one? Okay. You know what? I'm just going to have it delivered to me. I'm just gonna have it delivered to me, okay? How about that? <laughs> Cause that, that wasn't working. All right, Arden has been delivered at Eclipse Towers Garage 3, okay. Well, since I don't know where that is, I'm just gonna call the mechanic. I'm pretty sure it was like, it's this one. This is definitely Eclipse Towers, but why is it? Whatever, we're gonna call the mechanic. It's I'm gonna deliver. What you want, some wheels? Eclipse Towers 3, and then Arden. I'll bring it by. Thank you. All right, so the mechanic is going to bring our car by, and then we'll be able to get into this. All right, very cool. Um, I'm going to be tracking some of the other sales as well that are going on. So that we can get into this. All right, boom. Mine's been delivered. So mine got delivered right here. Woo. Cool. All right, so this is it right here. This is the brand new Ocelot Ardent Bussin Gang. Thank you for subscribing. So let's quickly take a look on the inside before we even start customizing this. Let's take a look on the inside really quickly. I am a fan of the interior. And you know what else I'm a big fan of? The sunroof. That's actually kind of a quirky little cool feature. Most cars in GTA don't have a sunroof. And let me actually angle this a little bit better. If you, like, angle this, you can actually, like, well, I said I would try and angle it. But if you, like, get it where you can, like, look at the city. Okay, I'm doing a really poor job at this. I want to, like, park this under a building. Why does this sound like it already comes with turbo? This sounds like it already comes with a turbocharger on there. All right, so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to, like, get under some buildings and show you how cool the, the sunroof looks. That's kind of a cool feature. I'm not going to lie. All right, let's get under the Arcadia sign since it's, like, blue and it'll be glowing. See, that's pretty cool. Like, you can look out and you can see things out of the sun, sunroof. That's kind of cool. I like that feature. Whether it's the sky or whether it's some cool buildings. I like that. And then the interior is pretty cool too. I like the Ocelot logo on the steering wheel. I love this car. This is pretty neat. Yeah, it sounds like it has the turbocharger already on it. It's got that whiny sound on there. Alright, let's bring this over here. Let's get to customizing this bad boy, shall we? Oops. 
All right. brings you in today? Liveries are available for this vehicle at a weapon uh, mobile operations center. Okay. We're not going to worry about that quite yet. We're going to get to customizing it. So, here we go. This is the Ocelot Ardent. You can see we have lots of customization options. We have 20 of them here, uh, which is pretty cool. Now, by default, it has a two-tone paint job, which is pretty cool. It's also a pretty unique two-tone paint job. Look at this. It has a horizontal stripe that runs down the center. And then some of the secondary color is picked up on the, um, the skirt, too, which is kind of unique. So I do like that. Um, let's go ahead and start customizing this, shall we? Let's do it. All right, so we're going to put our basic things on. We're going to put armor, $50,000. Should we add up the price? Let's add up the price. Okay, so let's do 1,150,000 plus the 50,000 we just did for armor. So that's 200,000. Guys, really quickly, before we go any further, we are 10 likes away from our first like goal of 1,000 likes. Drop a like right now on the stream if you want to be the 1,000th like. We are seven likes away, 993. Drop a like right now. Let me know if it was you in the chat. Are you the 1,000th like? Uh, Nuke Bomber123, thank you for liking. Jack, thank you for liking. Guys, we are five likes away, 995 likes. Drop a like right now if you want to be the 1,000th like today. Ferno, thank you for liking. Taylor, thank you for liking. You're awesome. Uh, Reese, thanks for liking. Chapo Plays, thanks for liking. Marco, thanks for dropping a like. Peter, thank you for liking too. Spilled Gaming, thank you for liking as well. All right, so we got $50,000 for that. Let's add $35,000 for breaks. Boom, $35,000 for breaks. Uh, TK Slayer, thanks for liking. Tyler, thanks for dropping a like too. Let's go ahead and do the engine tunes as well. So we'll add 33 and a half. Whoops, I just screwed up. Shoot, let me do that again. Uh, Samson, thank you for liking. TJ, thank you for liking. Um, Zombie Slayer, thanks for dropping a like. All right, whoops, I keep messing this up. All right, plus 50,000, plus 33,5, plus 35. Okay, so we got that. Uh, now we need to do the transmission. So we'll add $50,000 to that. Boom, boom, boom. Got that. Add in 50,000. Uh, James, thank you for liking. Stat Killer, thanks for liking. We'll do Turbo as well. So we'll add plus 50,000 to that too. Boom, boom. And then I think the other thing that people are going to do regardless is put bulletproof tires on there. So we'll add $25,000 to that. Boom. All right. So that right there brings our grand total. The Ocelot Ardent was originally $1,150,000. That brings our grand total to one million. Three hundred and ninety three and a half thousand dollars as you guys can see right there So that is our total for this vehicle if you do if you buy the vehicle and then you do the performance mods only okay Matthew, thank you so much for dropping a like appreciate it uh, and for subscribing All right, so now let's do some upgrades uh, to this vehicle. Okay, so the first thing we can do is bumpers We have front and rear So we have stock and then secondary stock which is literally the exact same just changes it to the secondary color the sport bumper the secondary sport bumper tuner bumper and then secondary tuner so you basically have three options stock sport and tuner um and i think honestly i am a fan of the i think i'm a fan of the stock so i'm going to keep it stock again that's just my personal preference and then on the rear you have stock and then classic. There's not a whole lot of options here. So you have one choice. So that's the difference right there. Not a whole lot. I'm trying to look at the back of this one car in particular. To see what it looks like the most. I think I'm going to leave it stock, to be honest with you. So I'm going to leave it stock. All right, after that. We have engine tunes, that which we've my already done. Money, Tommy. My money. But then we have this as well. What we can do. We have the engine cover, which is pretty cool. 
So we have a couple engine cover options. Uh, Navy Skater, thank you for subscribing. Really appreciate that. Uh, so you have the stock engine cover right there. Smooth engine cover, which completely covers the back, which I actually like. Uh, dual vented. Tuner cover. Uh, Sean donated $5, says, yeah. Love the stream. Sean, thank you so much for the $5 donation. Tuner cover. And then these are all your exposed engines. Custom, chrome, and secondary. So you do have three exposed engine options. And then you have some vented options too. I think I like the smooth one. Since I'm going with kind of a stock look, I'm going to go with the smooth one in the back. Now that's just my personal opinion, my personal preference. But we're going to go with that. So you have one two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven total engine cover options, which is kind of cool. Um, after that, we're going to move on to the exhaust. So for exhaust, we only have one option, stock and oval. Pretty simple. So we're going to go with oval. Uh, explosives, you can add ignition or remote bomb. I never do. Fenders, you have stock, plastic, and then secondary, which again is another actually pretty cool thing that the secondary color touches on this car. I'm going to leave them stock. And even if you leave them stock, you still do get a little bit of the secondary color on the fender. So that's something to keep in mind too, that even if you have the stock one, you're gonna get maybe like 15% of it that is still the secondary color. So that's pretty cool. So we're gonna stay that. Uh, for the hood, we have a couple options too. You have the stock hood, smooth hood, vented, dual vented, sport hood, tuner hood, and then deep vented. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I think I'm gonna continue the trend of doing the smooth one, so I'm going to do that. Uh, again, this is just my personal preference. I'm going with more of a cleaner cut look for this car. Uh, the horn, you can obviously mess around with that. Lights, I'll do xenon lights on there. Uh, plate, uh, we're gonna mess with the license plate in a little bit, so we'll, we'll do that in a bit. Uh, secondary, okay. So I am going to do this because I'm trying to design it off of a car. You can make whatever you want. This would maybe look good in like a gray or like a chrome, but I'm actually going to do frost white for both the primary and the secondary. You'll see what I'm going for in a little bit. Okay, so we got that. Um, we could sell, we could add a spoiler on there too. So there's a couple different spoiler options for this vehicle. Uh, I actually like a lot of them. So you have the classic spoiler, which I like. And then you have two tuner spoiler options, um, a primary color one and a secondary color one. Now adding the spoiler will give you a traction bonus, but I think I'm actually gonna go without a spoiler. Again, that's just my personal preference. I'm, I'm going for a certain build for this car. So I'm gonna go without the spoiler, but you have classic, tuner and secondary and you need to put a spoiler on there if you want that traction bonus suspension lower it once transmission we already did turbo we already did wheels uh these are custom wheels by the way i don't know if there's anything similar to them we can take a look right now um they're pretty unique wheels they're pretty unique wheels maybe like I hate to go in this category, but maybe SUV. Yeah, that looks ridiculous. Like that. That is honestly the closest, but it just looks so stupid. So I think I'm just going to stick with the stock wheels for now. And after that, we're going to wheel color, tire, tire smoke. We could change that. And then windows, we could go dark. All right, beautiful. All right. So if you guys can't tell by now, I'm trying to replicate the Lotus that was featured in James Bond. So this vehicle was white. It had very similar wheels. Uh, the only real thing I need to do now is I need to change the license plate. Speaking of the license plate, do you guys think this license plate looks ugly? It looks like it's stretched out. Like it looks like it's too long. And that that's kind of weird. I don't know why Rockstar felt the need to make it like super wide i don't get it but we're gonna change the license plate on this car to the one from james bond so let me actually look up what the license plate is the license plate is hopefully i can do it okay 
So we got the Ocelot Ardent. So let's get a custom license plate here. Um, please make an order using your new plate. I thought I did. All right, maybe we'll change the boom, boom. It's not letting me. Please make an order using your new plate and activate it. Okay. What the heck? Okay, maybe I gotta, it wants me to use a new plate. Okay, I'm trying to put a custom tag on there, but it was, it was not having that. The iFruit app is like not having that right now. All right, so let's try this. Maybe it wants us to do this. Plate. All right. Uh, let's try that again, iFruit app. The, my iFruit app was not having that. It just totally rejected my plate. All right, let's try this again. Let's try this again, iFruit app. And then we're going to do... Oh, those tuner wheels look good on there. That that guy has. All right, so let's give this a shot. All right, we're going to turn the lights off for now. All right, we're opening up the Los Santos Custom Shop app. We got the boss for the win on there. Please make an order using your new plate and activate it in LS Customs in GTA 5 before creating another. What does that even mean? What? Okay. That's the weirdest thing ever. All right. I was going to put the James Bond numbers on there. Really? D Denny. Really? Oh. That's what Denny was trying to do. Okay. Um, can we ban Denny? Yeah. Do that. Well, that's why we can't have nice things. But we can all go to players and we can hit this. We can hit Denny. And we can hit kick. Oh, easy enough. Bye, Denny. All right. Well, thank you, Denny. Now we just... Well, I guess we don't figure out what the uh, mechanic is because we're on PC. So we don't know. Morse Mutual, how can I be of service? Because it's no charge. Okay. All right. And then I can just go back to vehicle and request vehicle. Gotta love that. That was easy. I knew that was sketchy when that person was uh, parking like right next to me. I was like, that doesn't sound good. That doesn't look good. All right, so let's do a quick little car show. Uh, we need some mods in the chat, 100%. All right, um... There we go, okay. So let's do a quick little car show. God, with the cops here, that's not good. So like I said, God, we got blood on the front of our car. This is the brand new Ocelot Ardent. Let me actually turn the vehicles on, remote vehicle functions, engine on. It actually sounds pretty good. Headlights on too, I like it. Oops, not on, off. I like the pop-up lights, those are pretty cool. Unfortunately, the runner lights don't work, which is kind of unfortunate. We got the machine guns on the front. We got Fetties right here. He's all red. Those wheels actually look pretty good. Yeah, those wheels look pretty good. Not gonna lie. This one, Robbie. Got the camo on there. Oh man, 
We gotta go to the MOC. Put some liveries on there. That's for sure. I like that. Looking good, Robbie. We got Fad Fouled. Five. Got the black and blue with the blue neon underglow. That's pretty neat. Like that. Good color. I want to see if we can change the color of the stock rims. That would be interesting too. Hobro got the all black agent on the tag. I like those wheels too. The black and gold. That actually looks really good. Hassan got the camo on there too. I like it. I like it a lot. And then we got, um, oh, Jesus Christ. What just happened to my game? Okay, I go near a shark and my game starts freaking out. Um, let me try something here. That was weird. Okay, I'm not going to go near that again. All right. I want to play around with some cool features of this car, though. I want to see, uh, you know, what makes it a unique and interesting car. So, obviously, one of the first things I like are the lights. Unfortunately, the running lights don't work. Like, the lights at the bottom, they don't work. So, that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, the guns, when you're not using them, do they go away? No, they don't. God, we have cops on us. I want to get the cops off of us. Shoot. I'm going to disband. I'm going to become a secure serve. So I can get those copperinos off me. Alright. I am going to see if we can change the color of the stock rims. That would be interesting. So let's try that right now. Um, so in order to test that, we need to go to wheels. Let's just change this to just some crazy color. We'll do, how about we just do black? Black would actually not look bad. All right, so let's do that. Boom. So now we got to try and utilize the iFruit app, which was not working for us <laughs> earlier. So that's good. All right, Ocelot Ardent. All right, I'm going to order the stock wheels back. At least that worked. My license plate ordering ability didn't work, but at least I can go ahead and easily drop by the LSC. There we go. So if this works, we should change them back to the stock rims, and they should be black. No, you cannot. Wow. You can't change the color of the stock rims. What? Those don't even look like they're chrome. They might be. I don't know. Can we put a custom tag on there now? Guess not. You can't delete this plate. Oh, gosh. Okay. Well, I guess I can't put a custom plate on here. Oh, well. That was going to be cool, but oh, well. All right. So that's a feature I really like about this car. Um, I also like the sunroof. I told you guys that that's pretty cool. Oh, that's kind of an interesting quirk too. And it should have been obvious. But if you tent the windows, it also tents the sunroof. So it kind of restricts your view a little bit to look out the top. It's pretty neat. Um, let me actually test out. Let's open up all the doors. I want to see what's going on here. Let's open up all of them. So you can obviously see into the engine bay. Which, does that change based off of the color? All right, couple things I want to test. I want to test if you change your primary color. Is that chrome? I think it is. Let's do a quick test. And if you change the wheels, will the wheel inside the car change? Because there's a spare tire in the hood. So I kind of want to... We're going to do some on-the-fly experimenting. All right. On-the-fly experimentation. So let's change the color really quickly to something like 
black. And then let's change the wheels to just not the stock wheels. So let's just do uh, tuner rims or something like that. I know this doesn't look great right now, but you know what? Looking sharp. I just want to test. I just want to test it. Okay. All right. So now we are going to open up the vehicle. We're going to do the same thing. All right. So it doesn't change because it's chrome. And if you change the rims, the wheel in the trunk of the car, we'll get out here and look at it, will actually remain the same. See, that's kind of a bummer. Now, I'm going to use the stock rims because I personally like them. But if you change the wheels on your car, it'd be a little awkward to have different rims for your spare tire. I guess maybe that would be make sense. I'm not sure. But anyways, let's change it back to the creation we were going for. All right. Um, so let's get our let's get our color back. Let's get all that good today? stuff. Um, you guys are asking, can it go underwater? All right. So I already know the answer to this, and the answer to that is no. But for the sake of this video, because everyone seemingly wants to know, um, I will show you guys what happens when it goes underwater. Also, it'll give us a good opportunity to um, figure out the insurance of this car because if I drive it into the water, then you guys will find out the insurance cost. So let's go to the water, shall we? Let's drive this thing in. All right, I'm trying to find out where the closest body of water is. All right, what do you guys think? Will this car be submersible? Is it a submarine like it is in James Bond? I'm curious to hear from you guys in the chat on what you think it's going to be. I know the answer to this, and you guys should know the answer too. But just because everyone and their mom wants to know what happens if you drive this car in water, we're going to find out, okay? So let's bring it over here. Let's bring it over here. Guys, we are 10 likes away from our next like goal of 2,000 likes. We're literally sitting at 1,992 likes. Drop a like right now on the stream if you wanna be the 2,000th like today. We are four, six likes away. 1,994, 1994, the year I was born. Guys, drop a like right now on the stream. We're about to test the Ocelot Ardent in the water. Can it survive? Who is going to be the 2,000th like if it was you? Let me know in the chat. Drop a thumbs up right now. Lee, thank you for liking. Golden Eagle, thank you for liking. Undead Hunter, thanks for liking. Let's all drive in at the same time. That'd be pretty cool. All right, let's all wait this out. Uh, Bradley, thank you for liking. Mr. Manavi, thank you for liking. Uh, Bert, thanks for dropping a like. Eddie, thanks for dropping a like too. Paul, thanks for liking. Bradley, thank you for liking. John Killer, thank you for liking. Uh, we're going to do the bulletproof test, the explosive test, and the gun test in a little bit. Uh, Gene, thank you for liking. Panda Gaming, thanks for dropping a like. Beats, thanks for liking. Guys, we're going for 2,000 likes. Drop a thumbs up right now. Subscribe if you are new. If you want to get involved in the stream, if you want to appear on stream, all you have to do is go down, click the link in the description. It's to my Streamlabs page. You can subscribe, sponsor, donate, or use the super chat and you'll appear on stream. Big G, thank you for liking. Ronnie, thanks for dropping a like. Uh, Emilio, thank you for liking. Uh, Samson, thanks for dropping a like. Alex Vlogs, thank you for liking. Blue Foxy, thank you for liking. All right, is everyone here? Is everyone here? I think so. All right. Are you guys ready for this? Will the Ocelot Ardent survive? if we drive it into the water that is the real question today um i'll throw it okay we're gonna go on we're gonna go on the grenade but i'm gonna throw it okay i want to make sure we're all in line so here we go i'm gonna pull out this grenade we're all gonna drive in all right are we ready to take the plunge and test the ocelot ardent's waterproofing ability my windows are rolled up none of them are broken here we go. 
Grenade going out. Oh, now it's broken. <laughs> I should have thought about that. Let's go, boys. Woo! And to no one's surprise, the vehicle uh, does not work. It has been destroyed, and we are now underwater. Everyone's sinking. Look at this. It's a graveyard of Ocelot Ardents just sitting at the bottom. If only this was James Bond. And look, I'm starting to take damage now. There we go. All right, so there's your answer right there. You cannot survive. I'll even try it again without breaking the window because I know there's going to be some conspiracy theorists that are like, you broke the window. But what we've got to do first is we've got to now figure out how much it is on the Moore's Mutual. So if you destroy this vehicle, uh, how much is it going to cost you? MMI. We expect the unexpected. $14,375. That is the insurance cost on the Ocelot Ardent. So if you see one of these in free roam or you see one of these in whatever the case is and you feel like you want to destroy one, be prepared to pay $14,375, which is actually a lot for a vehicle that's only, uh, like, what's it called? $1 million. I'll look into it. All right. Uh, so I wanna, I'm going to do that one more time. I know that maybe doesn't sound like it makes a whole lot of sense. But I want to try it without the, uh, the windows, okay? Without the window being down. So we're going to go back over there. We're going to check it out. All right, there it is. Boom, just got delivered. Uh, there is no research options that you do in the bunker, which is good. Which is definitely good. Okay, let's, um, like I said, I want to I do one more test. I want to do it one more time. This time I just don't want to put the, I'm trying not to break any windows. So this time I'm just kind of going to do it on my own. I'm not going to throw a grenade. All right, don't want these cops on me either. All right. Let's give it a test. All right, so this time we've got 100% windows. 100% window integrity and everything like that. Let's just give it a test. And dead. Yep. This vehicle is not a submarine, guys. That's for sure. It's not a submarine. That stinks, man. Rockstar could have made this vehicle unbelievable. If they had decided to make it like a, a car that could go from uh, water to land, like, simultaneously. So let me call my Moore's Mutual again. It was another 14 grand. For science, of course. Had to find out. Moore's Mutual, we're here to help. I think we can handle that. Okay, thank you. All right, let's get back to land. I didn't even want your vehicle. I was just... All right, we're taking your MOC. All right, I'm gonna park it right here for you. There you go. There you go. All right, we're going to leave that right there. I am going to call mine. All right. So now let's do the test, okay? So let's meet uh, in parking lot. We're going to do some tests on this car. So we're going to do like a bulletproof test, explosive test. We're going to test the guns, see how effective they are. You're through to your garage. You uh, need me to bring you a ride? All right, where is it? Ardent? Boom. Next one request is available. Okay. Um, let me guys let me show it to you guys on the website really quickly then So it's available on the Warstock cash and carry site in case you guys are, are maybe a little bit late to the live stream didn't see it 
It's a part of gun running. It seats two people. Ocelot Ardent right there. 1.15 million dollars. Although when you do the performance mods, it's like closer to 1.4 million. And then obviously all the other upgrades get you even higher than that. So there it is. Thanks, NPC. Oh my God, no. All right, I'm just trying to just trying to get off the road. Okay. So the reason we tested the submersible submersible feature of it is because the description literally says, drop a pithy remark, open the champagne, have a quickie, D drive into the sea, realize you've made a terrible mistake, and uh, swiftly drown. So there you go. That's that. Uh, where's the parking lot? We're about to find out. I'm going to order it right now, actually. Mechanic. All right, let's order this bad boy up. You need something, huh? When you rides, let me know. I'm, I'm letting you know right now. Okay. All right. I got stuff to do. All right. Apparently, I'm driving Hassan's car. All right. Let me show you guys the parking lot we're going to get into. All right. Let's go. So, what we're going to be doing right now, guys, is we're going to be doing tests. We're going to be doing bulletproof test, explosive test, and the gun test, like the, the weapons on the front. So, in order to do that, we've got to find a parking lot that will be suitable for our test and I think this will be it if we go up here and we go to the roof this should be good so everyone bring your ardent on me now there's no armor upgrades for the ardent there's no research options in the bunker or anything like that so we don't really have anything to look at right there all right all right so Hassan, stay in your car, please. All right, we're going to do a test, okay? So, the Ardent is weaponized, but can it protect... Can it protect anyone on the inside? We're about to find out. So, we're going to use a regular pistol, and we are going to see if it offers any... Actually, we're going to do it on Fetty. We're going to do it on Fetty. We're going to see if it offers any resistance whatsoever all right here we go predictions here does Fetty die instantly I think so I'm gonna I'm gonna say so I'm gonna say it doesn't protect him at all and the answer to that is correct it does not protect Fetty unfortunately let's kind of see how many it takes three and it's shattered six and it breaks That's not very good. Let's see. Can you break the sunroof? Oh, shoot. One, two, three, sunroof is the exact same way. I'll test the side windows out this way. That breaks in one. That breaks in one. That breaks in one. Okay. So there's not a whole lot of bullet resistance obviously all right um want to test explosive even though it's not going to be able to survive explosive okay all right so let's just give this thing a test so i'm going to sacrifice you who is this shark i thank you for your sacrifice Let's see. Can it survive an explosion? We're about to find out. I feel like that's a mod. Let's try that on Hobro. Unless it actually did just tank one. No. So that right there is the real test. Um, you've god moded your vehicle. Um, so it cannot survive an explosive. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, so yeah, offers no bulletproof resistance, offers no explosive resistance. Uh, what about the guns? 
let's test the guns. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call my vehicle now. I want to test the guns. What you need, boss? Some wheels? I can bring them around. I'll bring it by. So what we're going to do is uh, gun test now. So let's let's test the guns on these bad boys. All right, so I got my vehicle. I'm going to go down and get it. Bring it up here. Did that actually just kill me? I mean, I know I just jumped off of like a multi-story high-rise, but I feel like that shouldn't have killed me. I tried to fly. Yeah. One sticky bomb will kill it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I need a clean car to shoot at. Who can I shoot at? That was my money, Tommy. My money. All right. Let's go into the parking garage then. Let's go right here. All right. Here's what we're going to do, Robbie. So we're going to test the guns now on this. Kane, thank you for subscribing. Okay. So I'm going to shoot at Rob. And we're going to test how long it takes to blow up his car. And then after that, we're going to test it on an NPC car. So my prediction is the guns are massive pea shooters. Don't shoot, Fad. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. This thing is a freaking pea shooter, dude. Look at this. Oh, now it's on fire. Now it's on fire. Okay. So that was that test. Let's try this over here. I'm going to try this vehicle. All right, so this is an NPC car. Just a random one. It's, I can't tell if it's more of a, more or less than a pea shooter than the, um, night shark. It's not amazing. Uh, let me find another car. Uh, fire truck. No, I'm not going to test on the fire truck. All right. I'm going to test on this parked vehicle right here. So like you just see a vehicle on the street. Let's just test. Let's kind of see what it does. Okay, so the guns aren't like horrible, but they're not great either. It's it's kind of tough. All right, let's actually um, I'm gonna call in my mobile operation center because we actually can put some liveries on here too. We'll put some liveries on here, then we'll check out the discounts. I promise, guys. Let me also try and confirm what all the discounts. Are. All right, so where's my mobile operation center? It is parked. Right there. Let's go. Jesus Christ, what happened to my freaking MOC? Why is it like sea foam green? Oh, shoot. Apparently, I don't have the vehicle thing inside the MOC. I got to fix that. Hold up. I'm an idiot. All right. Um, so let me actually fix this. My weapon bay is all messed up. Command center, and then let's do the weapon and vehicle one. Yeah. All right, so we just spent a ton of money. Just spent a million dollars <laughs> fixing this. Because we can put liveries on there. Wait a minute. What happened to my car? Hey there. 
What happened to my Ardent? It was... Uh-oh. Uh uh-oh. Uh Did I just lose my car? Hold up. What? Can this vehicle race? Where did my car go? Okay, hopefully I can have it delivered. My MOC just ate my car. There it is. Okay, whew. I think I got it back. Uh, can you race with this vehicle? That's something else we're gonna have to test. Can you race with it? All right. Let's modify this thing. Hello. All right. So the one extra thing you can do in the MOC with this vehicle is you can apply liveries on here. Now, all the liveries are the same. These are the exact same ones that you can put on like the um, the Night Shark and the APC and the Weaponized Tampa. So it's not exactly like special, but it is cool that it can get these military sort of liveries on there. So I don't personally think I'm going to put one on there. But, ooh, I, actually the winter camo looks pretty good. Uh, the zebra. Urban fractal looks good on there too. So those are all 21 liveries that you can apply to this vehicle if you want to. Like I said, I, I'm not personally going to, but you can. So you can you do all your upgrades inside of the Los Santos Custom Shop. However, if you want to put vehicle, if you want to put a livery on there, you have to do it inside the Mobile Operations Center, which is where we are right now. Okay, uh, let's figure out. Should we figure out if this vehicle can race? I feel like we should. I feel like that's an important test. It won't? I want to test that out. I want to test this thing out if it can race. So someone said nope, it won't. Someone said maybe. Um, well, it doesn't matter the speed if it can't race. Ooh, I feel like we should test that. Let's take a look at the uh, discounts first. I'm actually curious on those. Okay. Let's take a look. Uh, let's take a look at some discounts. So let's start on Warstock. Let's see if we find anything. So far, nothing. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so the Rocket Voltic is on sale. Now, I'm not sure if these are the secret sales or not because the Newswire isn't out. But the Rocket Voltic is on sale. So instead of it being for the Buy It Now price, it was like 3800000 It's like 2872000 The Securo Surf price is uh, $2,160,000. That's actually not bad for a vehicle like this. So that right there is the Rocket Voltic. That's the first vehicle on sale. So that's on the Warstock. Um, any other vehicles on Warstock? Nothing. What about Elitus? Elitus. Any vehicles on Elitus? Nope. Legendary. Any vehicles on Legendary that are on sale? Um, so far, nothing. So far, nothing. Nothing. What about Benny's? No Benny's. Nothing on Benny's. All right. Uh, what about Doc Tees? Anything on the Doc Tees? Nothing. What about Southern San Andreas? Anything on Southern San Andreas? Huh. 
Huh, so it looks like the only vehicle discount is going to be on the Rocket Voltic. Well, that's quite strange. Did I miss one? Apparently I missed one. Where was it on? Was it on Legendary? Oh, there it is. Okay. So the Anus Cognoscetti, 55. So instead of it being one mil or $154,000, it's 115. And then I didn't even see that. I was just flying through it. So there you go. Cognoscetti and then the Benefactor Shafter LWB. Instead of it being $208,000, it is $156,000. You have the secret sales, Lucky? That's pretty cool. Um, all right, I'm trying to figure out what the bonuses are. Like, all of them. Let's see, let's see. Um, that's cool. Okay, what about uh, offices? Is there any office bonuses? All right, once again, offices are on sale. Jesus Christ. Rockstar makes the offices on sale all the time, so they're 25% off. So Maze Bank West, instead of it being a million, is $750,000. Uh, Lawn Bank West, instead of being 3.1 million, is 2.3 million. The Arcadia's Business Center, instead of it being 1.67 million, is... Uh, or instead of being 2.25 is 1.6 million and that would make uh the maze bank tower 3 million instead of four all right what about garages can we renovate the garages anything like that boom nope no discounts there um okay what about bunkers is there like bunkers on sale okay that's not on sale this bunker's on sale What's with Rockstar doing like one bunker on sale every week? So the Smoke Tree Road Bunker, instead of being $2,205,000, is $1,653,000. Okay. Interesting. Apparently, vehicle warehouses are 25% off too, um, which is cool. Apparently there's some gun running research that's boosted as well. Same with import export rewards too. Huh. That's pretty cool. Uh, there's no free t-shirts or anything like that this week. Are there any other websites we could check out? I think we need to see if this thing races. I want to I really want to test this out and I'd also like to go to a public lobby so that we can do all the other stuff So let me actually uh, Let's let's test. Let's test if the ocelot ardent can race Okay Let's test Sports classics I'm just going to launch this on my own because the real test here is if it can race. All right. Custom Torero. It's a sports classic, right? It can't race. It actually cannot race. Wow. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Uh, if you guys have any other sales, um, then they're probably secret sales, and you should let me know on Twitter. Oh, my God. Am I really on Mount Chiliad now? And I'm on an invite-only lobby by myself. Wow. Okay, we need to get to a public lobby. 
Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. We just instantly got transported to freaking Mount Chiliad, middle of nowhere. Dang. All right, online. Boom, boom, boom. Go. All right, we're going to go to a public lobby. Public lobby it is. Uh, Mr. Nobody655, thank you for subscribing. Once again, guys, if you want to be featured on the stream, what you have to do is go down in the description, click on my Streamlabs tab. You can subscribe, donate, use Super Chat, or sponsor the stream, and you will appear on there. All right, um, let's get back into this public lobby. Now, the reason we're going into the public lobbies is so we can check out the remaining discounts. <laughs> I am on top of Mount Chiliad, though, with my car. That's good. Um, I need to get down so that I can get back to my office. So uh, I'm literally just going to have to drive this off. That's going to be the fastest way I'm going to get down. Oh boy. I did not choose this life. This life chose me. Did I get my car stuck? Beautiful. All right, CEO abilities. Let's request a luxury helicopter. All right, we're not stuck. That's what I like. lady all right let's go to the office in and relax. We'll get you there safely. thank you Your all right office? so okay. the next set of discounts that are apparently on sale let me just confirm what they are uh vehicle warehouses I'm apparently all of them are 25 percent off so let's take a look at that right now Alright, um, so in order to do that, we've got to go over this way. And apparently the bunker stuff is boosted too. I might go back to the crew lobby after this. So let's check it out. Lastly, do you can click renovate warehouse if you want I don't think I have any cars. Place. Actually, I have one vehicle. I think. I haven't done any sales. So we'll actually go to my vehicle warehouse after this. Um, whoops, 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 whoops. No, no, don't stand up, don't stand up. I need you at this computer. So the uh, warehouse map, that's what we need. Cargo. Okay, if you wanna start trading, you're going to need warehouse space to store the cars. See what's on the market and make your purchase. This is annoying. All right, so these are all your discounts. I'm not going to go through all of them, but they're all 25% off. So if for whatever reason by now, like a year later, you don't own a vehicle warehouse. Well, you may now consider this to be a good time because all of them are 25% off. Like I said, I'm, it would shock me if someone didn't own one of these by now. But on the off chance they don't, like I said, you can take advantage of that. Get some 25% off, making most of them like low $1 million. All right, uh, let's go to the vehicle warehouse. I want to see what this is because apparently gun or not gun running sales, import export stuff is boosted. You know that I've got two degrees, both in finance. Hello, what can I do for you? I will take my as buzzard as attack decided, chopper. I'll get the Pegasus rep to prepare the vehicle. Thank you. Okay, I'll get it landed on the helipad.
Okay, where's my vehicle warehouse? That's my bunker. There it is. It's been a long time since I've been to the vehicle warehouse. It's been a good it's been a good bit. Although we may break it out this week with the extra gun running sales going on. Might be a good time to do that. So I'm pretty sure I literally only have one vehicle. We're about to find out how many I actually have, which I don't think is a lot. I think it's one. Oh, there's some adversary modes on sale. Phantom Wedge is on sale. New adversary mode. We have a new sponsor. What's up, Wanna DJ? Thank you so much for sponsoring the stream. Everyone, welcome DJ. To the stream. All right. Um, oh, we're going in our vehicle warehouse. And we are going to... Was gun running two times cash extended? I don't think so. Something happened with it. All right. We have one vehicle. We have a Tampa. All right, so let's just see. Let's see if I can tell if the sale is boosted or not. Okay, boss, you want to sell something? You're in the right place. We log everything that comes in on the site, so you can see. What yeah, it's the boosted. Select a vehicle. Because I know the the, the commission offer is not fifty two and a half, and I know the um or uh, the standard one is not fifty two and a half. I know the high end is not seventy five. Confirm, and the system will search available buyers. There you go. We got three buyers. Pick who you like, but you should know that the bigger deals got strings attached. They're going to want you to do modifications up front. If you damage the car or lose it on the way to the sale, the money's gone. I'll do the modifications in-house and charge you a flat fee. It makes life simple for you and hard for me, but what else would you expect, right, boss? Make a call and we'll get on with it. All right. I think Rockstar put some adversary modes on sale. Let's test. Um... Okay, so apparently the bunker stuff, the bunker adversary modes are two times money in RP. So you have bunker, every bullet counts, juggernaut, kill quota, resurrection, slasher, till death do us part, and then trading places. Although these probably have the single worst ratings of all time. That one has 65%. That one has 77%. That doesn't sound terrible. Okay. So that's the first adversary mode. Um, and apparently vehicle vendetta is boosted too. So the regular versions and the street versions, vehicle vendetta one, two, three, four, street one, two, and three. Okay, that's cool. What about some of the other things? What about, did Rockstar add a new adversary mode in the game, like more power mad maps? Doesn't look like it because there's still only seven. That's a bummer. I was hoping they would add a new adversary mode. That's kind of a bum. Son of a gun. All right, so it looks like that's it as far as that goes. Uh, should we go back to a crew lobby? I feel like we should. Uh, I'm trying to think. Yeah, let's go out. Uh, let's go back outside. Exit the warehouse. All right, I'm trying to figure out what other discounts happen this week, guys. So give me a sec. All right, beautiful. Whoa. All right. This is why we like cool lobbies. That guy was literally sitting, waiting outside of my uh, thing for me to just show up. Man. 
lobbies like that are just very public lobbies just bring out the most socially degenerate people <laughs> let's go back to a crew lobby where we're all friends all right closed crew beautiful gotta love the closed crew the only thing i needed the public lobby for was to check out the bonuses and discounts and stuff like that all righty uh let's see what else we got cool all right we're back in a crew lobby safe and sound uh let's check out the time trial and the premium race let's see what that's all about oh my god that's the time trial what is the time trial the time trial is coast to coast oh god that one looks very difficult so that's the time trial coast to coast we might try that and then the premium race is pulse okay so i think we'll do both of those as well let's do some challenges with the ardent though shall we i feel like we should do some challenges with the ardent okay um so let's meet at the airport okay let's meet at our typical spot at the airport you've got to have an ardent Except there's only one person here. Really? Alright, I'm going to invite everyone that was here. Okay. So we're going to go to the airport and we're going to start a challenge with the Ardent. Okay. Let's do it. All right, so everyone meet me at the airport. Ooh. We're gonna be doing our first ardent challenge day. It's becoming daytime, which is pleasant. go all right airport 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 uh sandeep joe hall thanks for hitting that sub button Good God. all right so this first challenge like i said Ardent only at the airport. Let's meet up here. All right. Uh, we got seven people in here. So let me explain the challenge, what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing our Ocelot Ardent Lighthouse Run. Okay? So I'm going to start up a Securo serve, hire some associates, offer to nearby. I think that's all the crew members we have on right now. I could be wrong. It is pretty early in the morning, and I know people got school, so it doesn't shock me that... Although I can't invite people, which is kind of odd. All right, so here's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing a point-to-point -point challenge. I'm just going to start this, because there ain't no one here. Uh, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to do a VIP challenge. We're going to start it up. We're going to do point-to-point. We're going to be doing our Ocelot Ardent Lighthouse Run. So let's go ahead and start this thing up. I'm going to select the destination. It's going to be the lighthouse right here. So we're going to travel to the lighthouse. Once we reach the lighthouse, we're going to try and launch our Ocelot Ardent onto our lighthouse platform right here. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. All right, so here we go. We're going to do it. Like I said, you snooze, you lose. Here we go. Ocelot Ardent Lighthouse Run in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go! We got three people here. Good enough. We're off. It's me and Shark. And we're off. Oh, we're flipping. 
The gate just opened, I think. No, it closed. Uh-oh. Slow and steady. Wins the race. Oh, shoot. I don't have a spoiler on this car. Probably should have done that for this. Since we can't use the Ardent in races, we got to make our own. Okay. Uh-oh. That's not good. Hassan, that's not a uh, Ardent. So please don't, uh, please don't follow us. Is someone slipstreaming off me? I feel like I'm slipstreaming off someone. I know that's crazy. Guys, we are so close to our next like goal of 3,000 likes. Why do I hear the slipstream noise? That's all, that's all I know. Guys, we are freaking 10 likes away from our next like goal of 3,000 likes. I'm driving right now, but I'm going to do it with one hand. Drop a thumbs up on the stream if you want to be the 3,000th like today and let me know if it was you in the chat. I am driving and trying to read the chat at the same time. Incredibly dangerous, but let's do some shout outs for you guys. Samson, thanks for liking. Omar, thanks for dropping a like. Charlie, thank you for liking. Guys, we're going for 3,000 likes right now. We are six likes away, 2,994. Drop it a like right now. We're catching up the shark. Mr. Panda, thank you for liking. Oscar, thank you for liking too. Peter Bo, thanks for liking. DJ, thank you for liking. I have apparently gotten crazy slipstream, so I don't know how I'm doing this. But I'm catching up now. It's a battle for first. Uh, CM Punk, thank you for dropping a like on the stream. You're awesome. Uh, Louis G, thank you for liking. Bulldog, thank you for liking too. It's a neck and neck battle. Uh, Eli, thank you for liking. Cameron, thank you for liking. Uh, Harris, thank you for liking. This is a fight to the finish. Uh, Mr. Knight, thanks for dropping a like. Paris, thanks for liking. Gamer Babe, thanks for liking. Jimmy Daz, thanks for dropping a like on the stream. Uh, Oscar Mike, thank you for liking too. Osiris, thanks for dropping a like. Nick, thanks for liking. Guys, once again, if you hit that subscribe button, if you donate, if you use the super chat, if you um, sponsor the channel, you will appear on the stream. This is close. Let's go. Oh no, I'm spinning out. Oh, hold up. I get a redo. I failed to reach the destination first. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a redo. Oh, whoa. <laughs> I, uh, I hit the stairs. Oops. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Eject. Use the ejector seat, James Bond. <laughs> how, do I, how do I even do that? Uh oh, and now I'm in the water. Oh, we're celebrating with fireworks? Okay, I got fireworks. I think I got one. I can spare one. All right, let's get back to shore. Uh, we have a new sponsor as well, Manix. Thank you so much for sponsoring the stream. Everyone welcome Manix to the chat. Literally directly on the stairs. It's just pinned up against the stairs. There goes another one. Oh, Betty. Nice. Betty made it. What a boy. All right. 
Let's uh, start up our next challenge, which is going to be at Trevor's Airport, okay? Trevor's Airport. You need an Ocelot Ardent, and you need to go to Trevor's Airport. So we're going to do that, okay? Sound good? All right, so I am going to hire some associates and then also request a buzzer. That way I can get as many people in this buzzard as possible. Alrighty. Let's get you up here. Did I just kill Fetty? Alright, let's go. Trevor's Airport. Um, yeah, that reminds me, guys. Later today, I will be doing a shark card giveaway. So if you're not following me on Twitter, you totally should. Because that's where I'm going to be doing it. So the Ocelot Ardent is a vehicle that literally just released. And because that new content is out, I'll be doing a shark card giveaway to celebrate that. But that will be happening a little bit later in the day. So stay stay tuned. Stay tuned. Alright, so remember, you need an Ocelot Ardent, and we need to meet at Trevor's Airfield. Yeah, I don't know how Fetty just survived that. I'm pretty sure I just cut him in half. I'm going to do is I'm going to request my vehicle. Since it's not destroyed, I don't have to call it again. There it is. Looking good. way line it up all right so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna line it up so it's ardent only oops ardent all right so are we all here there's only four of us five of us all right so I'm actually gonna start an impromptu race and this is going to be our Ardent's Chiliad Climb. Let's do it. So I'm going to set that as the destination. I'm going to invite all players in range. And we are going to take these bad boys climbing. Okay? All right, you ready? All right, I have invited all players in range twice. So if you haven't accepted, you haven't accepted. Here we go. This is going to be our Ocelot Ardent Chiliad Climb starting in five. Four, three, two, one, go! Rolling out. I hit the pole. Oh, there goes the sun. Savage Squad, thanks for subscribing. Once again, guys, if you subscribe, you will automatically see your name on screen featured on the live show. Let's do it. I'm coming for you, Fetty. Uh-oh. Oh my god, you see that guy? He just went over the hill. There goes Fetty. Little out of control. I've got ice in my veins right now. I'm just swiftly navigating.
Coming for you. I'm not actually going to hit him. I'm just shooting around him. That's a tree. Robbie, you can't find your ardent? How does that happen? Robbie lost his ardent. Are you sure it's not like Moore's Mutual, MOC, Impounded? Check like all available outlets and where it could be. Someone's inviting me to play golf. Really? Are they in this lobby? No, they're not. Some random guy, some random guy, enter Jinx, just invited me to play golf, and I'm not even in his lobby. How does that even happen? That's the real mystery. I'm not going to go play golf. I don't think we're going to get first unless they like catastrophically self-destruct. Which I don't think is going to be the case. So the reason we're doing these challenges is because the Ardent can't be used in races, which is a bummer. Uh, but... It does still look like look and feel like it performs pretty well. And I don't even have a spoiler on. But that is a shame. So the Ardent can't be used in regular races, so that's why we're kind of making up our own. Lighthouse Run, Chili Had Climb. I don't even know who won. Let's do this thing up here. There you go. Beautiful. All right, we made it to the top of Chiliad. Cool. All right, let's see where that uh, time trial is. All right, time trial is right there. All right, so once again, if you have missed the stream so far, the Ocelot Ardent is available on the Warstock Cash and Carry site for $1,150,000. It seats two people. It's got machine guns on the front. It can't go underwater. It's not armored. It's not bullet resistant. So, needless to say, it can't do a ton, but it's all good. All right, we need to get this down closer to the time trial. So, let's drive this puppy off, shall we? Actually, let's hit the ramp. I've always wanted to hit the ramp. This thing right here. Uh-oh, that may have been a mistake. I'm just going down backwards. <laughs> I landed upright. Somehow, after all that, I landed upright. Alright, let's go to that time trial. So I'm going to leave Securo Serve and become a biker. All 
Alright, well, we lost our bumper. Uh, <laughs> we lost a lot. That's not what I wanted to do. Alright, I need to become a biker. President of the Boss MC. Okay, so put that right there. Turn vehicle to storage. And then get the Hakachu drag, probably. Alright, got the drag. So this is the time trial. This is the time trial. That was my money, Tommy! My money! Uh, Harry1409, thank you for subscribing. So this is coast to coast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this. And I'm just going to figure out where it is. Jesus Christ. Um, so I'm going to try the highway route. And then if that doesn't work... I don't know. I might try, like, the non-highway route. Jesus Christ, this is long, though. All right, guys. We also don't all have to do this at the same time. And guy who parked the buzzard. Pretty bad. All right, let's go. So I'm going to try the long way. And see what that does for me uh this route may be like just too long we're gonna give it a shot i think the hardest part here is gonna be not hitting other vehicles but i think for long stretches of highway like this Hakachu drag gonna be our best bet. I don't know. So I'm following the exact route that it's giving me. This is really close to our lighthouse run. So I know this area well. That was so easy. All right. So we just found out the time trial this week is very easy. Um, that was like we finished like what? Seven seconds under. So that was that was literally just a no brainer. So the route I took is we started right here. We just went up the highway. Round and round, we just turned and we finished. That was literally a no-brainer. That was one of the easier time trials ever. If you want like an easy 50 grand, do the time trial. All right, let's get the Zotero server. Let's get back to the city. That was seriously easy as heck. And I did that with the Hakachu drag. Yeah, that... And we didn't even have an amazing run. I mean, it was clean, 
But we were still like seven seconds under, like easy dog. Coming in for landing. Give me some spin. Alright, you guys gotta move, otherwise they're gonna freak out. Alright. Let's go! Let's get back to the city. Alright, we're out. You gotta work. We're on the way. We're on the way. Be good now. I'll be waiting for another call. Alright, um, I think it's time for the premium race now. Actually, I may not own a Rocket Voltic. This might be the perfect time to buy one. I think I may not own a Rocket Voltic. There's the boss. Hey, that's me. All right, Legendary. No, it'd be on Warstock, right? Yeah. All right, I'm pretty sure I don't own one. All right, I'm getting one. It's on sale. I'm getting it. Beautiful. All right. Uh, just get me to the roof. There we go. That's one of the vehicles on sale. The Ocelot. Or not the Ocelot Rocket Voltic. The Coil Rocket Voltic. Excuse me. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's jump off. Thank God I have a parachute. All right, so don't register for the because I think I'm gonna customize the. Uh, I'm gonna customize it first. Rocket Voltic. Oh, is it not in my vehicle warehouse yet? Oh shucks. All right. Um. Shoot, I need to get to an LSC then. All right, I'm taking this car. I'm stealing this woody wagon. Kramer in Java. Thank you for subscribing. Alright. We're going to get to the LSC real fast. In this Dundry Regina. This thing sucks. But I got to customize the, uh, what's it called? The Rocket Voltic. I guess I didn't own one on this account. Oops. All right, it, is it not available right now? It has to be. It's still not available. It's kind of sketching me out a little bit. Because I definitely ordered it. All right, I definitely just ordered it. 100% now. Alright, got it. So we're going to do the premium race soon, but the premium race involves the Rocket Bolton. Alright, let's customize this.
Why not? All right. Now we're going to stand out. To the premier race. That didn't go as planned. I just put the ugliest paint job on this car. <laughs> I just put all gold. <laughs> uh, Star Throw Vlogs, thank you for subscribing. Once again, guys, if you want to see your name featured on the screen, all you've got to do is subscribe, donate, use the super chat, or go down into the description, click on my stream labs. You can write something to me there. All right, so we've got three of eight. It's been 13 seconds and we nearly have half a lobby. That's positive. All right, everyone do the premium race so that we can get a full lobby. Premium race. Everyone sign up. Well, we've been stuck on three of eight for like a year now. Whoops. All right, four of eight. We got half the lobby we need. Five of eight. All right, three more. I mean, we have like eight people in this lobby. I think we have eight people in this lobby. I guess not everyone's doing the premium race. Three more people. If you're on PC, join the pre <laughs> join the premium race so that we can actually start this. Two minutes and thirty seconds. God, this is the worst part of premium races. Oh my god, okay. Who in this lobby has not joined the premium race? What's that? I'm trying to figure out who it could be. I don't know. Five of eight. Do we have to be in a public lobby to get more people? Try and invite more crew members. Can't invite any of them. Six of eight. Two more people. God, this is taking forever. Five of eight. Are you kidding me?
Trying to think of what six of eight. God, we just need two more people. And there's only so many I can show you. Whoops. We're stuck. There's the Ardent, looking so good. But at least you can switch your drive-by weapons. Yeah, you can use your other weapons in the Ardent, which is kind of cool. I might as well get it now. I'm gonna call my mechanic. I'm on the clock. What you want? Some wheels? What the heck? Where's my ardent? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. Guys, we have a problem. My Ardent is gone. It's not in any of my garages. It's not in the MOC. Okay, I got stuff to do. What? What happens if I... Uh, what happens if I hit vehicle? Request personal vehicle. Can we join the premium race? Is this so difficult to understand? It just got my bike. Join premium race. We have eight people in here. Who is the two people not joining? Oh my god. Seven of eight. We're so close. My Ardent just disappeared. What? My Ardent actually disappeared. Morris Mutual Insurance. It's not in Morris Mutual. Have a nice day. All right, can one person? Huh. It seems like a ton of people is uh, losing their ardent. Because I just lost mine. It's I'm going to have to buy it again. Are you kidding me? Who is not in the race? We have eight people in this lobby. Thank God. Thank God. MOC? I don't think it's in my MOC. I don't have vehicle storage. I don't have vehicle storage in my MOC. All right, all you guys right now that are spamming MOC in the chat, I want you to eat your words when I check my mobile operation center after this and it's not there. And it, if it is, I'll eat my own words and I'll say I'm a dummy. But you guys are very confidently spamming Mobile Operations Center. So I'm gonna call every. I'm gonna call you out. I'm gonna call you out when you uh, when it's not there. But I'll check. All right, here we go. This is this week's premium race. Oh 
Oh my god, I forgot how awesome this was. Come for you, CJ. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's go, baby. First place. Me and Clifton going back and forth. Oh, shoot. What happened there? We're good. We're good. Oh yeah, that's the move I wanted. No! My god, I hit that thing and I like freaking stopped. I like didn't even recoil. That just cost me first place. Dang, but I finished in second. Jesus, why are you spamming me like that? All right, time to check the MOC and see if my Ardent's there. My MOC doesn't have vehicle storage, so I don't know how that would be the case. All right, let's go back to free mode. Hey, I'll take 10,000 bucks. I had the win, but I blew it. All right, we're going to request the mobile operation center. Because if I call my mechanic, my ardent isn't there. 
You need something, huh? When you ride? It's not in Eclipse Towers where I put it in the beginning of the stream. It's not in any other one. Alright, so let's see where it is. It's not in Moore's Mutual, it's not in the impound. So let's go over here, let's find it. The only way I could see this happening is if my MOC didn't save the fact that I got rid of the weapon and vehicle workshop. And if it still says, if it still says I have the storage from earlier. That would be the only scenario in which it's still in here. But I don't think that's the case. No. All right. So for everyone who said it's in the MOC... answers that question What's up, Chief? it is not there so my ardent like actually disappeared uh that is a problem uh and i don't know how common it is or anything like that uh all i know is i feel like i now have to order another one or stock well, that's a bummer all right oh shoot i don't know where i put it what garage did I just put it in? Regardless, let's get close to an LSC. Check my bunker. Ooh. Um, I doubt that. That would be funny if it was there, because I haven't been to the bunker once today. But let's try it. Um, this will be the quickest way to get to the bunker. So let's see. Now we're in the bunker. This is quite a mystery. I need to buy some more supplies anyways. I don't think I'm in a public lobby. I'm in a crew session. Okay. I ain't gonna worry about that then. Not even gonna worry about it. All right, uh, mobile operation center. All right, let's call the mechanic. See what we can find. You calling for some wheels? I'm Johnny. Now it's spot. there. I'll okay, it's saved now. Too close to my personal vehicle. I'll get back to it then. All right, now it's saved. What you need, boss? But Some it didn't wheels? save from earlier. Bring them around. It's on the way. All right. Well, I guess we just have a new ardent to make. Maybe that's why I couldn't change the license plate. And Robbie says his Ardent is gone too. So if I was the only one, I would be a little suspicious. But the fact that Robbie lost his as well, I don't know about that. Um, 
once is an accident, two is a coincidence, three is a pattern. Isn't that the same? So I think that that's either a coincidence or some people could actually be losing their ardents. Well, I bought another one, Robbie. I didn't. Um, it literally wasn't there. So, yeah, I bought another one. So I'm going to bring this back. Betty lost his, too. Wow. Everyone's losing their Ardents. Honestly, that's probably a sign that you just shouldn't buy this vehicle. Because it's really not that great. I mean, you can't, like, race with it. It's not, like, amazing. Unless you just really want the James Bond car, the Lotus. Alright, um... Alright, well, let's start over. <laughs> Kind of obnoxious. Oh, the power, the power. That's the sound of a thousand panties dropping. Now don't go ruining my work playing backseat twister. All right, let's see if I can actually put a custom plate on here now. That would be nice if I could. All right. Um Shoot. I can't tell which Ocelot Ardent is mine. That's not good. Uh. I hate the fact I feel like I can't make a new plate. That bothers me. All right. Well, I can't put a new license plate on there. I don't know why, but game's just not freaking having it. It's saying no, no, no. I could have just put the boss for the win on it there. Uh, none of the glass on here is bulletproof. We tested that. Yeah, that was weird. I don't know why mine disappeared. Yeah, if I lose mine again, I'm going to be a little upset. If I lose mine again, I'm not buying it again. I buy it twice for the stream, but I'm not buying this thing a third time. It's not worth it. Um, It's just really not as far as the vehicles go. Okay. Um, should we do another Ardent Challenge? All right. We'll do one final Ardent Challenge, okay? We're gonna do a Chiliad, not a Chiliad invasion, a Zancudo invasion, okay, with the Arden. Let's do it. Get this thing in 4Z. Yeah, I hope mine doesn't disappear. That would be such a bummer. Yeah, Robbie, I'm not buying it three times either. Not a chance, man.
tired. I think I'm gonna go up the mountain this way. Uh-oh. I may have messed up. Shoot. This guy's got the wrong vehicle, too. Trying to find our little ledge that we need to get in. I think it might be like right here. Maybe a little farther over. Uh oh. Here it is. Alright, I found it. All right, are we ready to invade? Here we go. Well, that was a failure. Rip the dream. Now am I stuck against this wall? Can I try that again? Can I get a redo? Alright, Grotti Turismo guy. I don't want you stopping in the middle of this thing. Please move. Thank you. Uh oh. Use the guns! I don't have the guns out. Oh, we're dead. Okay. Oh, we made it about three seconds. Exciting. All right. Um, cool. All right, guys. Well, we have been streaming for over two hours now, so I think that's where we're going to be ending it off today. That is the brand new DLC vehicle that was released, the Ocelot Ardent. Um, I'll have a couple more videos out a little bit later in the day. live stream that we're going to be doing today again hopefully you guys enjoyed hopefully you had a good time i know i did it was a ton of fun uh subscribe if you're new ring the post notification bell drop a thumbs up on the video if you had a good time as well again thank you guys so much for watching we've been live for like two hours and 10 minutes now so i'm going to be ending it there early stream long stream that's where we're going to be cutting it thank you guys for watching though as always i'll see you in the next one hopefully you have a great day why Anyways, I'm going to take off, guys. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Hopefully you have a great one. Peace out. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Later, everyone.